You need the package I made, which is linked in the description. Once you open it, place inside the workspace and move the folders inside to where they belong. So for example, replicated storage goes to replicated storage. And for the two teams comment and lobby, just move them into the teams folder here and you can just delete the leftover folder. And make sure to delete the original spawn and the base plate and also go into avatar and make sure it's set to R6 and standard. Now we just need a weapon to shoot the zombies. So I'm using the gun package I made from last video. So make sure to click right here if you want to make your own in 30 seconds. After you put the gun in the starter pack, make sure to set the friendly value to true so you can't shoot other players. Alright, so once you're done setting up, you'll have a fully functioning zombie game that you can play. But it's pretty basic, so we're going to customize it. Alright, so if you want to change the general settings of the game, go into server script service and click on the main script here. You'll be able to change how many rounds there are, how long the intermission will be, how many zombies you start out with, and how many zombies get added after every wave. Alright, so if you want to add your own zombie, open replicated storage, open zombies, and duplicate the zombie from there into the workspace. Once you move the zombie into the workspace, you'll be able to change the amount of damage it does here, and you'll also be able to change the amount of health and speed it has down here. And if you want to use your own animation, just click on animation and put the animation ID right here. And if you don't want to use an animation, leave it how it is. And once you're done customizing the zombie, just place it back inside of the zombie folder and replicated storage. Also, quick note, if you want more Roblox Studio content like this, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit 100 subs by mid-July, so it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. Anyways, back to the video. Alright, whenever you make another map, make sure it's a model and that its primary part is a root, which is basically the center of the map. Also, make sure that the root part is spelled exactly how it is. Now you have to tell the game where the zombies can spawn. So just make sure there's a spawns folder, and wherever you want the zombies to spawn, create a spawn part. Now once you're done with the map, move it into the maps folder and server storage. Now if you want to change how the lobby looks, it's basically the same thing as a map. All you have to do is move it into the workspace, change it however you want, and move it back into the server storage folder. Alright, so you now have a custom zombie game that you can call your own. If you like this tutorial, consider subscribing to the channel. And let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And as always, thanks for watching.